Okay, how we doing out there? First things first, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of a luminous 4K screen paint using ambient light rejection technology gain. I didn't realize when I bought the ViewSonic projector, the PJD uh, 50, I think it's 5155 um, projector, that it has to be back a certain distance because at first I thought something was wrong with the projector. I thought it was damaged because every time I went to pull back on the zoom, I thought the image would be much bigger. But I keep forgetting that the projector I'm using downstairs, the other Sony, is using WUXGA. And that basically gives you a larger image uh, from a shorter di image, shorter distance. It's like a kind of a widescreen format projector. So that's the reason why the screen wasn't coming up the size that I wanted. I thought it was going to be expand the entire screen. But I keep forgetting when I did a demonstration, that screen downstairs is gigantic. When I did a demonstration using that projector, I was somewhere at 16 feet on 147. And downstairs is between 12 feet, 5 inches. So what I'm going to be looking at getting next is probably a uh, BenQ, no, I'm sorry, the Optima. I'm looking at probably getting the, working on getting the Optima uh, GT, uh, GT uh, 1080 HDR. Uh, that's the projector I'm looking at next to the short throw also. So anyway, let's talk about a few things here. So one of the things I wanted to discuss in this demonstration, I know you're sitting there looking at my buddy Groot. I want to show you something here. Now, keep in mind that when I have tested other screens, I've tested other screens like uh, Elite Screens, Dark Star 9. I've tested screens like DMP Supernova, Daylight Screens. Um, oh my goodness, I've done the Gray Cinema 5D, I did the Polar Star, I did so many different forms of projection screens because once you start developing a screen paint, you have to show its worth. People say, well, how did you come up with your prices? Well, keep in mind, when you have, and I showed you some of the um, emails that I've received uh, from SL Screens, uh, we've had conversations with them. If you're curious to see that link, I'll put all that information at the bottom of those documents. Um, we also, too, had uh, conversations with Elite Screens, and we had conversations uh, with um, Seymour AV. Seymour AV had, uh, we got a couple of samples from them. We got their black matinee, and we got uh, the, um, a whole bunch of the black matinee. We had the Seymour AV 1.2 and 1.3, and I was quite impressed. As I got a chance to talk to the fellow Chris and his brother, and they're some really, really nice down-to-earth people, um, very, very respectful, and I was quite impressed at the time when I was developing silver uh, um, screens, um, I was quite impressed with the Seymour AV 1.3. So anyway, this right here is an Elite Screen Dark Star 9. Now, in the Dark Star 9, if you look at the sample sheet, it looks like it's a very, it's a black screen but it's a very dark, dark screen. You wouldn't be able to tell exactly what it really is until you lay it against a screen that is actually black. So in this demonstration, I have to put both screens in the same amount of lighting. Each screen receives the same amount of lighting. Each screen receives the same amount of attention. Now, the reason why I'm saying this is because someone got a little upset because in one of the demonstrations I explained, if you're going to review our product, your screen must be in there also side by side and your screen and my screen must receive the equal amount of light both screens must be placed outside because if you're going to clean your technology to be good you should be able to do everything our screens can do now i showed you in that demonstration one of the ones i did thorough demonstration this is how companies test out our product they will take our screen and they will place it against a white screen they are well aware that in our conversations, we have explained to them that a white screen will always have a more superior white level due to the fact that it produces pure white, much higher than a light gray screen or a gray, dark gray screen. But a light gray screen will produce a higher white level, just not as high as a white screen. Now, keep in mind, I say keep in mind a lot, I know I do say that, that a light gray screen cannot produce contrast. A white screen cannot produce 100% pure contrast. Dark gray screens cannot produce 100% dark contrast. But a gray, a black screen can produce contrast. Now, in our demonstration, we displayed and showed you what a white screen looks like against our screen. But we also displayed to show you that 
when our screen is displayed against black paint or a black material or anything like that, that of that nature, another black screen, our screen produces a very high white level among black screens. By doing that, this helps us when we have companies who want to do business with us and they'll say, hey, why don't I just paint the wall all black? Why don't I just use black material? And we can say, you don't want to do that because if you do that, what's going to happen is the image is going to come out muddy and dirty. Our screen produces a higher white level. So when we show them the demonstration, that's what convinces them and that's how we get those contracts. Now, in the demonstration, I showed off a piece of uh, cardboard coated in black house paint, pulled the camera real close, you can see the difference between the two. That's how we basically out ourselves as better than other black screens out there. On top of that, our screen has an interesting colored shade. It protects us from anybody doing false uh, uh, reviews by putting black paint. So we know how the screen's gonna react. Uh, number two, what he doesn't realize is there is a ton of live demonstrations of this being done. And also, too, we have a backup customer right now. He's in the process of receiving his paint. We have another one who just submitted one a few hours ago um, on a curved screen he developed uh, using our product. So it's going to be quite interesting to see how he comes up with the color. Because keep in mind, um, on our end, we have a system that keeps a track record of every transaction that goes through. So there have been no new orders that have come through on our end for any kind of paint whatsoever and nothing shipping off to California. All right, now let's go from here. Now, as I said before, we've had to test out different forms of screens. I've had my screens over at test facilities where literally I've sat around a bunch of people who had IQs way beyond mine and they basically would challenge my screen against their screen. Both screens would be produce actually set out in an area where we'd have some kind of a light or something hit in the screen or different forms of projectors these are stress tests that they will perform on your screen and in this demonstration as you can see both screens sit in a fully lit environment this is an elite dark star 9 price tag for a hundred inch of the screen is around three thousand dollars and as you can see both screens are action doing contrast demonstrations now as i said to Mr. J, if you are going to do a demonstration, take our product and your product, not only do light colors, because I know that's what you favor, but also do contrast, which means the star field demonstration, which means the LED LED, black level LED tests, do black level LED test demonstrations. We don't mind if you put on a white screen saver, but also to put on a black screen saver because we do know that you will not do the star field demonstration in a fully lit room because you do fear the fact that your screen cannot pull contrast. See, I can come on camera and explain to my customers there are different levels on how my screen reacts. You can't convince people that a black screen, a white, I mean, a gray screen will produce contrast as good as a black screen. I've had customer, not customers, but I had people come in on my channel asking me if they turn up the contrast on their projector, is it possible that they can achieve true black levels? And that's not true. If they calibrate their projector, can they achieve true contrast levels? They cannot. The screen has to be black. Oh. There's the same projector I bought. I told you I had that projector before. That's my uh, NEC projector. That is the um, PJD uh, 50, uh, 51, 5500. All right, so I'm gonna do the demonstration here. So you can see it come up. You can see the white wall, which is going to fail. And as you can see, our screen is pulling a 100% contrast level next to an Elite Dark Star 9. Now, those of you are not familiar with the Dark Star 9, it is a very expensive screen. It's one of Elite's flagships. And this is where we did the demonstration. Now, as you're watching this, let me explain something to you. Um, in order for you, to, when you do fair demonstrations, when you do things by the book, um, People, you draw the attention of people that should be looking at your product, people that uh, can put you to another level. Now, I've had con uh, talks with big companies before, and for all the while, when this particular individual was stating that our product was nothing, it was this, that, and the other, we had companies that wanted to do a lot of business with us. But keep in mind, when you're doing these contracts, you have to be very careful. I'm not saying all of them are like this, but some may want 
too much from you. All right. So if you I've had opportunities to have my technology um, that could have been placed on a price tag of three to five thousand dollars a screen easily. But I chose not to due to the fact that I wanted to make the product fair so everyone can afford it. Now, if you consider the fact, some people say, well, you're charging three hundred and or two hundred ninety eight dollars a quart. Well, you consider looking at this demonstration that you're watching right now. That right there is a three thousand dollar screen sitting in the middle of my screen. So when you can get a screen that costs three thousand dollars and you can get a true black screen that produces 100 percent contrast and good white levels at two hundred ninety dollars. That is practically a major steal. And I have a friend of mine who was in the process of buying a certain screen and he kind of pulled back on it and did some research. He found our company and in our company, uh, he found that we were doing these demonstrations on these high end screens and it's something that he wanted. He didn't want to spend 10,000. He didn't want to spend $5,000. Now here we are doing another demonstration on another black screen right here. This one is actually in the living room. Look at all the condensed lighting hitting the screen. These are all elite screens right here in the center. I'll get up there and get real close on the camera so you can see right there. So there we go. Polar Star, Elite Dark Star 9, Gray Cinema 5D. Excuse my screen, Jet Black. Now I know, and the window's open, and I know that in this demonstration, that uh, I didn't do contrast in this demonstration because I wanted to show off that our screen produces doesn't have the um, issue with a narrow viewing comb or bad bottom line is uh, reflection issues because some screens uh, you can't view them on an angle they have to be in line with the projector due to the fact they have something called a narrow viewing comb also to a black screen it's going to have the ability to be able to produce a better color pop because it's black now, if you're curious to see this exact demonstration, I will save this page, post a link at the bottom so you can check it out for yourself. But if you notice, if I'm reviewing a screen, if I'm testing or doing a screen, I'm going to have both screens side by side. I'm going to, I'm not afraid to do a demonstration using a light gray screen or a gray screen against my screen. I'm not afraid of that because I know my screen produces a very high white level. Now, you see the image behind you right here. I'm going to, I can never find this controller when I want it. Pause it there. And I'm going to come here, pause it there. So the reason why he doesn't want to do those, he doesn't want to do contrast because if he does a contrast demonstration with the lights on, the biggest problem, he knows the screen's going to wash out. He can't take his screen outside and do that demonstration because he knows if he does a star fill demonstration, his screen's going to wash out. Now, we have policies attached to our screen paint when using them outside. It does require a projector of, um, of 3,000 lumens and up. The hours that the screen can be used in outside is around uh, six o'clock in the evening, five to six o'clock in the evening. Now, if he goes around that policy and he decides to do the screen at 12 o'clock or somewhere in the time where the screen's not going to react, clearly shows that he's just a person out to just do an unfair demonstration and to try to slander and tear down the company, which you can't do because you have to understand we have companies that have our product. We have companies right now that are watching, waiting for the review, and they can't wait to see the reaction because they actually had the paint. So that's what I was, last night I was having a long, a long not even, but a conversation. I was FaceTiming one of the people that we're doing a contract with, and he was cracking up. He said, who is this guy? I said, he's just an everyday troll we deal with from time to time. And we just had this, you know, we just don't pay him any mind. 
But he says he does know that we do have the product. Like we we are we are we're over here using it right now. I said, yeah, I know, I know, I know. But that's what he feels. He feels his opinion basically uh, it's going to um, uproot our our technology. Now, see, there you go. That is a light gray screen and a gray screen leaning against our screen. I have no problem with doing this demonstration. I have no problem with taking my screen and putting it against lighter screens than mine. I have no problem with that because I know my screen produces a very high white level. I know my screen produces an image that's so bright that it's not dark, it's not dirty, because that's what you want to portray. You want to portray that our screens produce an image that's so dark and so dirty that no one can see the image. But you can see the image crystal clear. Now, if I were to come in and do a simple contrast demonstration, which this is the demonstration you will not do due to the fact that you know what's going to happen to your product if you attempt to do it. You can see it already with the black background, how it's coming up already. So if I come here, I go to uh, star field. All right, there's the star field screensaver. This is what I requested. This is what you will avoid. I'm gonna do the star field. Let me get this video, the compago pass. See right there, we already know that. I know that from the door that the white screen is always going to produce a higher white level. That doesn't bother me one bit at all. I know it does. But this is something you can't do. Your screen has a major flaw. The major flaw is you can't pull contrast. Now, our screen may not pull up a high enough white level higher than a light gray screen. No, it's not going to be. That's virtually impossible. I would never, ever ever come on YouTube and say, hey, guess what? Our black screen pulls a white level equal to a white screen or a light gray screen. I would never say that. I say it pulls up a, a level close enough to match it. Now, when it comes to a dark gray screen, it can blend into it and, 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 and match it. It can match a dark gray screen pretty good. All right, so let me go back and show you again. We'll go back to the uh, just plain back black background with the windows uh, um, display. Now, in this display, the background is supposed to be black. This this demonstration will never be done because if he does this demonstration, his screen will not be able to produce that black level. Now, let's go back here to the star field demonstration. These are demos he cannot do this. See, now. If I go to remove all this and we go to Skyworth, Sky, 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 demo right there, food demo. All right. And I'll pull this up for you to see. Let me grab this other one back here. I have another sample sheet here. That's what I wanted. That's what I wanted. All right. Now, in the Skyward demonstration, as you can see, the white screen is producing a much, the gray screen is producing a much higher white level. But what I wanted to show off in the demonstration is that our technology can produce a high white level. So high that the screen does not come out dark. Now, let me get up close. Let me show you something. As I said before, let me go back here a minute. I'm going to pause this. I got a piece of paper stuck to the bottom of my foot. Let me show you something really quick. Okay. Just because it's producing a brighter image does not mean it's producing good color. Because you have to have contrast. Now you see how faded the fruit looks here? And look how rich and red it looks there. 
Okay, now, I'm gonna take this down. Take this down right here. I think what bothers him is the fact that we're doing these demonstrations and he wanted to do these demonstrations showing off the flaws on our screens. Look, we, these demonstrations have been done over and over again, and they're done when we go to, when they take our screen down to a test facility, these demonstrations are done. They take my screen automatically and they stick it right up against a white screen. They do it all the time. They do it all the time. This, this is what they have to do. So I'm used to this. I'm used to these kind of demonstrations being done, let's see, on my product because they have to do this. This has to be done. Now, as I said before, our screen produces the highest level when it comes to a black screen. Now, this right here is everyday black paint. Now, this is how you want to portray our screens. You want to portray our screens that they can't pick up a black, they can't pick up on white levels. But they can pick up white levels. This is next to a black screen. When you use black house paint, when you use black material, it can't produce a white level. So our screens may not produce a white level as high as a light gray screen. It may not produce a white level as high as a uh, gray, uh, sorry, a white screen or a gray screen. It may not produce a white level. Well, actually, it will produce one higher than a dark gray, definitely. But keep in mind that neither one of those screens either can produce contrast. The screens do not have the ability to be able to produce contrast. Or color pop. A light gray screen can't produce color pop because it fades out. Oops. That is determined to just keep falling off. We'll get it to stay up there. I should have brought, I don't think my tape's up here. I think my tape is downstairs um, in, the, uh, in the shop downstairs because I have to get ready. I got another wallpaper screen to coat today. Let's see if we can get this to stay up here a little better. Let's see if we can just hold it right there. I can hold it with the other hand. There we go. It's better for with the other hand. See what I mean? So, that's why, like I said, you got to do a fair demonstration. In my demonstrations, I can go back and I can show you the screen being tapped against a white screen. I can show you against a light gray screen. I can show you the reaction on how the screen it's going to react on different levels. Let me go and get, if I can figure out where I put it at. Here it is over here. We are going to do a, show you something interesting here. If I can find it. For a black screen, produces amazing white levels. The screen is not dark, it's not dirty, and that's what customers want. We already know this. Our screens are tested on that level regardless. I go to a facility or a company with their paint, and they send us back pictures and demonstrations. Say, hey, look, this is a reaction we get off a white screen, but your screen produces a very, very good white level, extremely good. This color is not dark. The white levels are not dingy. That's what they're looking for. We know this already. Any review that you do on our product, it's already been done. It's already been done by companies that are mat that are way beyond your level. So it doesn't bother me. Go ahead and knock yourself out to the demonstration. We're waiting. That's what we're waiting for. We're just waiting for you to do the demonstration. All right, let's do this. Red, uh, red, uh. Uh, uh, completely took it off. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. All right. Very hard to do with the what you call calling.
it's it, it, even better with the with the microphone Red color we got the very bottom now this is just a blank screen and red that's all it's showing is just red this is what happens if you take a light gray screen and you stick it against uh, the color red I'll show you what you get this is why you have to calibrate your projector because a light gray screen can't actually pick up red there's no color pop to it you see that black screens our black technology has the ability to produce real deep reds where a light gray screen will struggle with that Oh, we don't have tape for the back of this either. All right, so we just put this here. This is a dark gray screen. Dark gray screens cannot produce that color. So much I got to show you. This, this, like I said, these are tests that our screens had to go through. A lot of you not. They run them under everything. They don't just, just stick them in a room in a dark environment and say, hey, look, this is how pretty the screen looks. No, they put them under very serious, rigorous testing. That's the color pop on a light gray screen and a, a um, gray screen. They can't produce, that's why you have to calibrate your projector. You have to calibrate your projector because the screen can't pull proper color balance. All right. Now, keep in mind, it's going to be able to pick up white. Yes. Let's do uh, purple. Oop, that one just fell off. The gray screen has a better chance. Let's take the dark gray screen off because I got to get tape for that. I'll redo this demonstration, but I just want to give you an idea of exactly why they go into telling you to calibrate your projector. Because these screens can't pull proper color. My projector is uncalibrated. This is why they're going over and over and over again to convince you. Now, keep in mind, it's going to pull a higher white level because the screen has, has the ability to pull a higher, whiter image. See? But see, as our screen has the ability to produce a very high white level because we can take a black screen. I had all my samples on the floor, which I don't know why. Kenny, 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 Kenny. This is me in the morning setting up. This is literally me, how I do things in the morning setting up. Look at this, trying to peel this off my screen. But anyway, so there you go. As a white screen will always produce higher, higher than a gray screen. Now, when it comes to our technology, next to a black screen, our screen produces a higher white level than black. Let me hold it on this side. Let me get a better handle on this. I'm gonna hold it on this side. So I'm gonna get close on the camera so you can see the difference between the two. There you go. Now Let's come over here. Where in the world is my controller? I'm always losing my controller, literally. We are gonna now do black. That's a black level. So the only levels, like I said, will come up brighter on a screen, a light gray screen, will be, um, will be, uh, will be white because the screen produces a very high white level. Let's go back a minute. I'm going to go back here a minute and see. We did red. There's the red right there. Let's go back and let's do a... Run out of time here. Let's do a blue. Let's do a blue. Blue. B and do a blue. Uh, I think I got to go back and clear this real quick. Blue, blue, 
blue, blue, blue, blue. Yeah, this is why you have to calibrate your projector. These are all the tests that are done when we go to facilities, they do these tests. Here's the color blue right here. So that's what I mean by any ambient light, they have to be in complete darkness for the image to show a proper blue. They have to be, now when it comes to white, the screen's always gonna produce a higher white level. But when it comes to true colors, the screen has not, um, a light gray screen does not have the ability to be able to pop. Gray screens don't have the ability to be able to pop. A little bit more than a light gray screen, but they don't have the ability to be able to pop. Let's go with yellow. We'll do yellow next. Like I said, I'll do demonstrations that they will not do. And the reason why they won't do these demonstrations is because they know their screens are flawed. Can't do demonstrations like this. I'm going to do white. I have no problem with doing white. I'm going to show you that my screen uh, will... My screen will uh, produce, um, uh, oh, wait, wait, that, that's not what I asked for. I didn't ask for that. Where did I get? I want the color. Nope, that's not it. Okay, I wanted a yellow background, but for some reason, let's see, yellow color um, background. Yellow color test. I think I come up better if I just say yellow color test. I'll just get that instead. Oops. Should have went back on that one. I should have spaced it. Yellow color. There's so much stuff on the yellow, so I should have put the yellow color test. That's what I should have put under. Uh, there we go. I found one right there. There we go. This should bring it up. All right. There we go. Ten hours of yellow. There you go. You're just not getting those deep colors. You're actually getting a faded, faded color. So that just shows you right there what you're actually really getting. All right, let's go back to the, come out of here real quick. And we'll come out of clearing this. Now, keep in mind, like I said, our screens produce a very high white level and you won't miss anything by having a high enough white level it allows our screen to be able to produce brighter come on let's play nice i think i'm just completely came out of my menu altogether let's see if we can find that again there we go we're back in so we're not gonna get back on there for a minute but having a screen that produces a very high white level um, gives our technology to ability to be able to produce a whiter image. Um, so the screen does not come out dirty. So the screen does not come out muddy. That's the reason why we have tested our technology against other black screens. This is one of the things we concentrated on developing when it comes to our black technology. We know the screen's gonna produce contrast, that's easy. I don't have a problem with taking a white sheet of paper and put it against my screen because as I said before, white screens and light gray screens are gonna produce a higher white level. I said that already, I showed you right there in the color test. They will produce a higher white level. But when it comes to certain colors, they can't pop on the certain colors. They don't have that ability. Contrast with contrast from the contrast is very important when you want deeper and richer colors. And this is what I explained in the demonstration. This is called a thorough demonstration. This is how it's done. Not taking someone's screen, stick it in there, trying to basically damage your reputation of the screen as much as you possibly can. Do a thorough demonstration. Do a thorough review. This is what we go through. When I go to a facility and a company wants to sign a contract with us, this is what our product goes to. They will do that color test, that color pattern test. They will do it. And I've already told them from the door what the screen can't do. It can't produce higher than a white screen. It can't produce higher than a light gray screen. But the screen can produce a white level that's much higher than any black screen. On top of that, it's not something you're going to miss. It's not something you're going to look at the screen and say, oh, it's so dark, I can barely see the image. No. 
you can see the image crystal clear. Look at the white levels. It has the ability to produce a high enough white level that is extremely satisfying to the customer, where it's not so dark that they can't make out the image. This is what bothers some people when we do demonstrations like this, because pretty much it takes the ability for them to be able to do any harm to our product or try to do any harm to our product, any mischief. It takes it right out of their hands. So as I said before, we are waiting for the review. My contract distributors are waiting for the review. And when you do, I'm gonna tell you something real quick, and I've said this many times before, when you do stuff on that level, not only are you being watched by me and your customers and you're being watched by other people that are watching you viewing your videos for the first time and you're being watched by major companies, it just displays what kind of person you are. And that's you don't want that because the bottom line is nobody wants to do business with somebody that is going to bring a bad rep to their company. They don't want it. Now, keep in mind, I've done dozens of live demonstrations on this technology. I've even done a painting demonstration live. So, you know, there's no way around this. So, before you go back and say, oh, he's using smokes and mirrors, there's ways brighten it. Well, my friend, I did this demonstration live several times. All right, so let's get off that topic right there. We're going to do another color pattern test because I found that quite fun. But okay, so here you're seeing our, our technology testing other things. So I'm going to tell you a little story really quick. So like I said, uh, we've done quite a lot of business with a lot of interesting companies and stuff like that. One of the companies we did some business with is Seymour AV. Now, I don't know if you're familiar with the screens. I'm familiar with them. They make amazing screens. Um, we've done business with them. Uh, we were in the process of doing this. is Seymour AV. Uh, the fellow's name is Chris. Really cool dude. Really, really cool guy. But him and his brother think it's a family-owned business, and they design screens. Look at the white levels. That's what I said about it. It may not produce a white level as high as a white screen or a light gray screen, but the white levels are absolutely amazing. All right, so anyway. So um, as I said before, we done business with multiple companies and they contacted us due to the fact they saw something that we were doing on Facebook. They contacted us through Facebook. We got into a conversation talking back and forth. And this is before, I think, I don't know if they had the matinee black. Yeah, I think they did have the matinee black already. So I'll show you an email. This is my email account under my other company. Like I said, I had an older company under Digital One Crystal Screen Paint. There it is. And this is Chris Seymour, very nice fellow right there. That right there is a mutual non, uh, a mutual, sorry if I get this right. So a mutual non uh, um, um, contract, well, not a contract, it's more like a, um, a NDA. So an NDA means that bottom, a non-disclosure agreement. Let me, um, uh, for a minute, I'm gonna curse for a minute. I don't think it makes a difference. That's their company. That's their company. You don't mind. So this is a non-disclosure agreement from their company, from Seymour AV. There's a lot of stuff people don't know about our company. We did business with a lot of big people. But yeah, this is a non-disclosure agreement. Now, within this agreement, we can work in, on different projects together. And in these projects, uh, we can work on uh, uh, building this and building that. Now, once these non-disclosures have been signed, that means that, and they, weren't, they were never signed. We never got around to signing them. Like I said, some complications came up. Because for me, I want to keep the screens at a certain price. And they have their price point. I have my price point. So it, it couldn't be done. So like I said, it didn't go as far as I wanted it to go. Um, but like I said, I, it, my stuff wasn't what it was supposed to be. Big companies like this, like Seymour AV, would not be sending me non-disclosure agreements for us to work on projects together. But there it is right there. If I can go through my email archives, I can pull up tons of contracts where... I've done, uh, had talks 
uh, with these uh, particular individuals. There's multiple. We had to do redrafts on them over and over again. And like I said, amazing, amazing, amazing person. Awesome company. Had a great time. You know what I mean? Just things didn't work out the way they were supposed to. I wish they could have. But who knows? You know, we got a motorized projection screen uh, coming out very soon. Um, and, um, you know, maybe we may work on a project together. Who knows? You know what I mean? So, um, I'll show you something right here. So, you know, you know, these are talks we had back and forth. So, you know, before someone comes out there and says, well, his product isn't what it is. They don't realize that we've had conversations with big name companies that already, some of them have tested our products, some haven't tested our products, some just looked at our products, I'm very impressed with them. But as I said before, like I said, um, to each his own. All right, I gotta get out of here, I have much to do. I have work to do today. As a matter of fact, I'm supposed to be doing a demonstration on a customer's uh, screen uh, that we just finished up, another wallpaper screen that we just finished up today. Um, it will be, that demonstration will be available um, uh, today. We're gonna do it on a 235.1. Hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. Thank you all for your time. I have to go in, God bless. Just wanna show you that real quick, but that color pattern demonstration, yeah, like I said, they cannot pick up color pattern. They can't pick up, they can pick up whites. They just can't pick up the blacks. They just can't, yellow's a little bit better, but other than that, our technology doesn't have a problem with yellow or bright colors. It looks absolutely amazing. Thank you all for your time. I got to go and God bless. And as I said before, if you're going to do a review, please put your screen side by side and please do contrast. We would love to see the Starfield demonstration. We would like to see a black screen saver demonstration. We don't mind if you do a white screen saver demonstration on our screens because we know how it's going to come up. We displayed it here on YouTube on exactly how that white level comes up. So it's not a problem for us to show what our product can do. But we would like to see you do that demonstration displaying on a black screen. Uh, actually, a black uh, background, black star fill, some OLED demonstrations. And also, too, we'd like to see some of these demonstrations outside. All right. Thank you all for your time. I got to go again. And God bless.